is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to my channel. Today is a haul. I hang my head in shame because <laughs> I didn't mean to but I did. So here it is. Um, I just finished doing a first impressions with the NYX Ultimate Brights and then on top of that finished looked I put one of the Enchanted Lustre Myth Prism on top just to see what happens and because it was looking a bit dull so um so anyway let me show you what I bought I got a mecha delivery which meant I got some samples and another one of those pretty boxes so my samples I got the YSL Touche Touche Eclair all-in-one glow foundation I got eyeshadow primer potion oh it's all the samples all right so I was thinking what I could do with this is compare them all and see what happens with an, one of the eyes with an eyeshadow formula. Huh. That looks like there's a fair bit there too. Alright, this could be interesting. But I thought I could do a primer devoted video. Alright, so I'd have to have a read up and see. But I thought maybe I could do a comparison of them and see which one works. I got I just think these are hilarious now. This piece of cardboards with the shadows. Right, it's interesting seeing the actual colour because it's just on white paper. And well, I did buy the oh, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in original because I wanted to compare it. I thought it'd be cool in my videos where I do a multiple looks to go through different primers and just see how they go with different formulas. And I think I just got the travel size. So yeah, I thought that could be a fun one. And then I got a big one of my D Slick one finally. I've been waiting for this. I'm really excited. Um, I love this spray. Like just melt. It just it keeps my oils at bay all day. I did buy a Christmas present, but I won't I can't share that with you. Just in case said person watches, no I doubt. So I, I went to my code today. And I went to the Carondale one. And usually I go to the Chermside one. Carondale was just like so much quieter and they had everything in stock including these I bought this stupid hourglass well, I caught up with a, someone I haven't seen outside of work in like forever and she talked me into it I mean it wasn't hard so now I have these they're gorgeous so my friend was saying that this is an amazing formula and I've seen the beauty news girls like talk about this so much and how much they wanted these and that they're amazing too. So this is the shades My One Desire and At My At Night. And so they're really nice. They do look really nice and wearable. I mean, did I need them? No. Am I glad I have them? Yes. And I've also got this is one that the Mecca uh, Chermside hasn't had or I haven't seen it it cost me bloody 50 bucks too but I swatched it and I, I fell in love it was absolute love at first sight this is the Ciate Astro Lights palette in jeweled I did really want the Ciate glitter one but like the colors in that were so stupid and this it looks so boring I get but Look, I think this is my first one that's got shapes in the pan. That's pretty fun. I made the mistake and I swatched this shade. And look at it. Look how pretty it is. I don't know, it just caught me. And then I swatched this shade. This is where my swatches fall apart. And it's like a really pretty duochrome thing going on. And then I swatched the middle shade. And it's like a beautiful purple that you can't see. It's this one here. So I don't know. I just fell in love. It's terrible. They were just, they're so stunning. And I couldn't say no. And <laughs> my friend was like, just get them. Just get them. Just get it. So I did. 
so I don't know it's very pretty I'm looking forward to playing with it and I do have the like the Chloe Morello where is it the pretty fun fearless palette and I do really like this it's a nice one and you can't get it anymore so I'm curious you know I'm keen, to, I'm keen to try it out a lot of berry toned looks in my near future I guess and is that all I bought from Mecca? Oh, and then I went to Inglot, oh, Inglot, and I picked up Pure Pigment in 120. I was just watching, and so I've been thinking a lot about these multi-chrome pigments, and they've really been on my brain. And then I was looking at the ones in Inglot, and they have multi-chrome pigments. So it's like this, and then it's got the little chunks. Then when you pick it up, it's like that, and it's chunky. And then so you can like mesh it on your hand and then you can blend it out on your hand and then you have this beautiful dough comb so I don't know I kind of it didn't occur to me that brands had these already like that's such a stupid thing to say isn't it but I've been so caught up in Instagram that I didn't realize I could get these and also Ingle had 20% off today so I was like <laughs> let me buy something uh, so I don't like I was really surprised to see that these have sort of like potentially always been around but because of Instagram I think they're really special to indies um, so I don't know this was like $25 though so you know I'm curious to try it out and see how it all compares and I went to Kiehl's how lovely I love the Christmas bags like places that slay in this year um, I got some toner samples I'm, I'm not that excited I've got one of their toners already but I bought a, like a huge cleanser from them I picked up the Calen, Calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash it's like 40 bucks and she said it would last me for six months so I just wanted like a foaming wash or I wanted a clay wash for my bathroom it, that's behind me. I've also got like a shower one. My pixie glow one is in there. So I just like trying out different formulas, different stuff. So I was tempted to give this a whirl and see how it goes. Then I went to Body Shop. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now I can find a cool set. I, did, I wanted to play with this as soon as I got home, but I, I thought I'd wait for you guys. And look, I thought it was a kangaroo, but it's a deer. Don't ask, just mask. So they had one that looked like it was a koala bear, but I guess it was for something else. But I was curious to give us a try, so let's see. <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny. I like it. Um, and then inside it came with five masks. And this is the Body Shop British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. All right, this seems fun. I mostly bought it for the headband, like to be honest. Oh, is it meant to? I don't know, that's, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, I entertain myself too much. And you, with any purchase, you got a pack of this for 12 bucks. Uh, my, my friend she also bought some stuff so we both sort of got done in and I picked up the I also picked up the British Rose scent because the other scents it was like coconut and something else didn't sound that appetizing so this is quite pleasant what was it a body butter and I got what is this hand cream petal soft hand cream well that's exciting and I think a shower gel But yeah, I sort of just really like the bag. I haven't really tried the body butters, so I was keen to try that. It was twelve dollars. Like it got me in. It doesn't take much to sell me something, to be honest. And and then we also went to Priceline. They're at the end of their sales. My friend's favorite lip balm is this brand, uh, Carmix. So I copied her and bought a double pack of this. I've already opened them because my lips were really super, super dry just from being sick. So. They seem alright. And I bought 
Kiehl's had stickers. I stole like three. I think they said take one. But, you know, she wasn't looking. <laughs> anyway, uh, Priceline had lashes on sale. So I bought this pair, Exaggerate. They're like nine bucks. I thought they'd be fun to play with. But they also had this. And I mostly wanted this stupid applicator. I thought maybe it'd make my life easier. I don't know yet. But interested to try. And yeah, you know. There's no harm in trying things. Anyway, that's all the things I've bought so far. Um, I'm going to try and hold off. I'll come back and I will do an unboxing when I get my Beautylish order and my Bombshell Cosmetica order. But until Christmas, I'm going to be good. I'm going to wait for some new releases. So I'm going to try and come up with some other content <laughs> instead. Um, but I'm going to try and really focus on playing my eyeshadow palettes and really get into them. So, you know, this is be exciting for me. I hope you join. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you think of anything I got. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Mwah. Hello, sorry, I went shopping today. So I'm just gonna tap, tack this on. And what did I buy? What did I buy? So I bought, well, I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing it before I showed you. I bought the Natasha Denona Duochrome Top Coat in lavender gold and silver so it's like this it's on my eyes right now but it's really pretty it's a bit more powdery than i thought i'm not sure i need to i probably should look up how to use it really so i don't know it, it looks really pretty and i was actually after finding the triple pigment like the trichrome pigment at Inglot, I was like, oh, do other brands have this? And yeah, they do. So I've been thinking only like Instagram or in-house, like, you know, like Etsy brands have these trichrome shadows, but I'm quite happy to find them elsewhere now. And I have the most exciting news ever. This is for my OGs. But if you have watched my <laughs> Sephora rant videos, which I will link up there, Guess what, guess what was in stock today? My Sephora Gold Welcome Gift. I couldn't believe it. I've already opened it because I, I couldn't resist, but look at this. This may have been worth the wait. I got this beautiful card. My card doesn't change color, by the way. I've still got a black card, but Sephora Gold. A special treat for you. And then it just tells you about some of the perks that you can now enjoy. I got the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser, a black charcoal face cleanser that warms on contact. Mm -hmm. So it seems like it's a bit of a deluxe size, 30 mils, but I mean, curious to try. And I got a Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. It's got a little, well, like it's stuck down, but there's a little three holes on there. I'm excited to crack into that and give that a try and see how it goes powder wise. I feel like I just want to leave the gifts in there for, for now because they've been waiting so long for this. So exciting. And in keeping with my, in keeping with trying out some drugstore palettes, I went to Maya and bought Chi Chi. Manly, I saw, who was that person? I saw Shanna Zoe mention them the other day in her video saying how good they are and they are really a, an Australian brand but so this is the Oh My Frank and George or the OMFG oh yeah Oh My Frank and George 2 palette it's like quite well made What's that? The mirror is pretty decent. And I thought for a rainbow palette, it actually has quite a nice color story. It's got some good shimmers. It's got about mm, like five shimmers in here and a lot of mattes to play with. So I'm really, I'm looking forward to giving this one a try, but let's just have a look. So this is the blue Damn. and this is the pink. So this pink here and this blue, those, wow. 
I mean, swatches aren't as impressive, but you know, I don't know. You never really know how it's going to perform in the eyes, but I'm excited to give it a try and see what I think of the brand. I'm excited to try out some more drugstore, but um, I'm, I'm not going to buy any more makeup for the rest of the year and I'm going to really focus in on my current collection. So this will be the last haul for a while. I do have some deliveries coming in from Black Friday that I talk about in my First Impressions NY Life NYX Kaleidoscope palette video and I'll unbox them when they arrive and I might just put those two together but one, one was a pre-order item from Bombshell Cosmetica and one was Beautylish and they still haven't packaged it which is a bit weird for them so they won't be here for another two weeks I think anyway super excited to share all my purchases with you i hope you stick around i hope you subscribe say hello let me know what you think of everything i bought have you tried any of these products what are you like yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it mm.